One week before I leave, I lost interest. <laughs> I just lost interest. Sounds familiar. <laughs> and I was contemplating all day long that what is matter with me? Why is it that I, my heart goes out and then I sit back and I, what is going on? Uh, I, I have to do my business on a daily basis or I will have no money for six, seven months. Yeah. yeah. So I was not working. Uh, I tried to avoid working any way possible just mm. to, just to be with uh, YouTube mm. and your sad songs. Mm. So miraculously, everything worked out, and I'm here. Uh -huh. And uh, I have very, very, uh, I don't know if you call it hard questions, or I don't know. Uh, I understand everything you say. Mm -hmm. I can be in that space. I can perceive my physical body. I can, I can see everything from the larger space, from the space that it has no word for it. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel happy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel the joy you talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm always guilty. You feel guilty? Always. You see? Uh -huh. I, I have guilt. I have... Uh, I, bit myself a lot, and I say, well, you can never do it, you always thought this you could do point, it. This is the point, you see, because if you say that I don't feel happiness, I don't feel this bliss that you speak about, I don't feel anything at all, except that I am, then I'll say, ah, oh, very good. You say, on the contrary, I don't feel any bliss, I don't feel any peace, just guilt. So then I know the person is there. You see? The person somehow seems to be standing in front hmm, of the pure Self. It feels like that. It's not true, but it feels like that. It's one of the, the aces of the sleeve of the mind. And it caught you, you see? Yeah, because you have to have an identity to have this feeling. You have to have an identity to suffer, or even to have a problem. It must be that identity has something to do with it, you see. So you say, I don't feel the bliss, I don't feel... And also, just one week before coming, before everything is going fine, one week before coming, sometimes one day before coming, sometimes on the plane coming. You see? If something wants to, you know, pick up a parachute, I just have to <laughs> I'm not going to go to that place or whatever it is. Like that. And we see. I'm sure some of you are laughing because you have tasted this as well too. That something is some resistance is there, some fear. You know, the, and it's usually because like, the mind is playing, like, you know, okay, you know, you're not going to come back alive, you are going to be finished. You're going to be sucked into the great black hole of but that existence. That wasn't my fear. That isn't much, your fear. You know? No. Just not having any money. This is a... No. No. What the guilt is for? Is that I'm not good enough to, to be awakened? Yeah. He has to have something to blackmail you with. <laughs> you see? It's either you're not good to be awakened, or you're already awakened, what's the point to come? <laughs> you see? Whatever thing, it works. You see? And it is good, you know, in this sense, it is good. It is good to see and to experience the mechanism and all the trickiness that can come out of the psychological state to some to something, you see. You're not good enough. Why? Because it has it has worked before. This assault has worked before. 
Mine is a let's try this one. No, that, no, that didn't work. Let's try this one. That didn't work. Let's just play the guilt card. Oh, yeah, bingo, bingo. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> she, wherever that started, that is still hot stuff there. You know? So you're not good enough to be awake. God made you with a flaw. You are not good enough to be awake. You see? And then, of course, you know, I'm guilty for not being good enough. You know. Once in Tiruvannamalai, one of the people, she was not coming to Satsang actually, but she was in Tiruvannamalai, and we heard about it that she was walking around the mountain, and on the road, a truck came off the road, smashed into her, you know, into her, and was on her body like this. And uh, it took a long time for any ambulance to come, as it can be in some places in India like that. When they got to the hospital, she they had to take the leg off like that. And she had said that somehow she felt a connection with me, and I went to see her. Because what happened is that also we call a lot of the Sangha and say, anybody, we didn't know what blood type she was. And then we had mixed report, it is this one, it is that one. So everybody came to give blood there. Interesting. And then um, one of our friends went there, and then uh, they said, "Well, no, we cannot, we cannot, uh, we cannot take your blood for some reason." And one of our friends, Japanese friend, he's listening today, so you know, he says to her, "So you failed because the blood is not the right type. You failed." <laughs> so even that. Which is nothing you did. You didn't uh, do anything or nothing. You actually, when you succeeded in going there, actually given the blood, but it wasn't required. So you failed. <laughs> Meaning that you were not chosen to take to be given blood. So the mind can work like that also. You see, you have done nothing, but you're not good enough. <laughs> anything that works. And so this is something that uh, you will transcend this thing this voice in you, because how much of your life it has drained away, how much energy it has taken from you in various situations throughout your life, that card has been played and it's worked. I am not good enough. I am not good enough to be loved, I am not good enough to keep my job, I am not good enough to be whatever it is, and now I am not good enough for God. I am not good enough to be awake. I don't deserve it. And what is this setback, Moji? It's not a setback, it's a setup. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a setback. It's not, it's not a setback. Actually, it can only happen, it's part of the great Maya. As long as you keep identifying as a person, hmm, these traps will be set. And they are good, they have a good end, because you have to come out of the person game. You have to transcend. Because presently you are identifying as a somebody who can succeed or fail. But the self cannot succeed or fail. It's in a completely different category. You see, this is for the body-mind, this is for personalities. When you are, you are the self, living in a self-portrait as a person, with attributes, hmm, positive and negative. These things are not real, but they are part of our, our you may say, our mortal kind of uh, paraphernalia. You are going to feel something. You may think it, you're trying to, you go to somebody, they try and trace back where it started. Where it started? Uh, just in your head it started. It has no root, it's not real. You see, how did you come to, when was the first time you realized you were unworthy? Who told you about it? Maybe you cannot trace it. Okay. And this you also, who is unworthy, you see? Now is your time to find out it doesn't exist actually. What is painful is that sometimes you want it to exist, but not as the unworthy side, because the same one has some other 
nice attributes. You see? But you don't want to uh, give up those attributes. You don't want to give up this identity because it has a nice side. It's just that you want to get rid of the not nice side and just be a very good ego, basically. <laughs> it is true for everybody, it is like that. That's what keeps the game going because you still feel that, you know, I'm still this person, you know, but, you know, and I'm improving and, you know, I've read so many self improvement books and I am getting there. I am getting there. And most people go, well done, darling, very good. Like this. But then someone tells you, but this person doesn't exist. <gasps> what? <laughs> so much investment has gone into this person. How dare you say something like that? No. That's not helpful. It's helpful to help me to get rid of this unworthiness feeling. Everything else is going fine. I'm not telling you you are good enough. I'm telling you you are complete and perfect before even the birth of time. But are you up for the full discovering of this, the full direct experience of this? Yes. Hmm? Yes, I am. Yeah, this is the important point. I would not be of service to you by telling you just how to get rid of this bad feeling. The ego is worse than a bad feeling. He will put you into another womb for another existence again, and over and over and over and over. Don't be compassionate for him. But yes. Muji, you always uh, refer to everything just unfolds. By itself, we everything have, is unfolds, unfolds by itself. Yes, yes. And uh, we have no saying, we have no option just to go with the flow. Your real option is to either give your attention and go with the pull of the mind, or to stay in the place of observing it until you completely see that uh, whatever you are observing is just a play of transients and the observer is more stable, and to dwell in the completeness of the observer, at least until you can go beyond even the observer. Yes, everything is unfolding for everybody according to the strength of their maturity. You see? Because everything is compelled within the realm of manifestation and duality, Everything is compelled in the evolutionary drive to be evolving. Even the demons, they have to evolve. You see? I don't know if they evolve from demon to super demon, or they are evolving towards awakening. But there must be some change. You see? I have really pointing to you something inside you that is perfect. If the drive in you is, is there because you are so totally convinced of your personhood, then it would be more helpful for you to be guided towards the next step in your evolutionary, in the evolutionary chain of consciousness. If you are able to see from the place I am pointing, you maybe will save yourself quite a few lifetimes. You can be a Buddha today. I am not joking about it. I am not here to give you a course of tablets. Because the perfect is already in you. It is a question of how ready, how mature, if there is the maturity there, to open the curtains on this. Or are you going to keep on hiding behind the fig leaf? For more time. Fig leaf is what? Shame. Then you will be more mm, attracted to what is the next step to 
improve, self-improve, to get closer to the Supreme. But when you said you felt an attraction here, that is an attraction to your completeness. Not necessarily to your evolution. Why not go to the complete thing? Why is it not an attraction to your completeness? And it is much simpler also, much more direct and natural. If you only want to improve, you will find the paths very difficult. But if you are hoping to discover your perfectness, it will be very easy. If you want to improve, it means that you will retain the personhood necessary to make the concept of evolving uh, seem alive for you. If you wish to find the fullness of truth, it is much more simple. Then, is this a common that I, my mind went berserk since yesterday? It's just acting up so bad. Yes, it wants you to leave. No. I want to stay. I, I want to stay. I'm so excited. Last night I was No, but it's the same very thing. Happy. You want to stay. If, if you wanted to go, it wouldn't be going berserk. If you wanted to go, it would not be going berserk. It would be going, come darling, let's go to Algarve. Okay? It's because you want to stay, it's going berserk. Mm. I could even concentrate more back home. You than could here. You could concentrate more back home. Than here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect this. <laughs> this is not a concentration camp. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, an awakening house. <laughs> I know what you're saying. It is still the it's still the, the, the play of it's still the person and how it's experiencing, you see. All this is going to come up. It's going to come up. And they come up to come out. It doesn't come up to go back down again. You see. So don't worry at all. You're in the perfect place. Leave it, stay behind like flowing water Free of sadness, yesterday is gone Its tail is torn Today new seeds are growing The time has come to turn your heart into Temple of fire Your presence is gold Hidden in dust To reveal its splendor Burning